A good entrepreneur knows how to pitch their story. Three small business owners will get their chance when they step onto an elevator with business guru and self-made millionaire Marcus Limonis. They each have only a moment to pitch their business, and only one will take home a check for $10,000, courtesy of the UPS store. This is The Elevator Pitch. My name is Victoria Elena Nones. I own Sit Social, a dog lounge, and we are a pet care service space by day and a pet-focused event space by night. When I moved to Chicago, I was working jobs that I didn't love and I was tired of it. I didn't want to work those jobs anymore, so I decided I'm gonna do something I love, and that's where the dream for Sit was born. I grew up in Utah. Uh, my father passed away when I was young, and so my mom, My mom was a, a single mom, and she worked really hard to raise us. And my mom always taught me that I could do anything and be anything that I wanted to be. I'm really thankful that she made me confident to, to do what I've done. The pitch starts now. Hi, Marcus. Hi. I'm Victoria. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Pretty good, thank you're you. Taking a, you're taking a ride upstairs with me today? I am. I'm very excited to. Okay. So, Marcus, my name is Victoria, and I own a pet care company that does pet service by day, and then we have a doggy lounge that we just opened that does events at night. Pet service by day and parties at night? That's right. We have doggy singles nights, paint your pet's portrait class, yappy hours, and people are totally loving this concept. Um, so, Marcus, I'm here today because I would like to ask you to invest in me with $10,000 because my business, we just put a lot of money into it. Much space. revenue will you do this year? Uh, right now, we're at about 100000 for the year. So what are your margins? I'm about 30%. It's a little low. I know, yeah. It's because I pay my staff pretty well. And how do you find new customers? Uh, we do a lot of in-person events, so we do like lobby events at high-rises. Um, we also have vets offices that carry our cards, yeah. pop cakes that we give out, like I brought okay. one here for you. <laughs> for me? To yes, eat? for your dog to eat. Okay. So, yes. Well, listen, it was nice meeting you. We're at the top. Nice to meet you as well. Take care. Thank you Good so luck. much, Marcus. Take care. That was crazy. <laughs> it just went by so fast. I, I felt like it was a whirlwind, and I felt like... I, I like half didn't know what was happening and then what was happening. When he was grilling with the questions a little bit, I was sort of like, wah, because it was coming so fast, but um, I'm glad he did that. I think it just, you know, he wants to know if we know our business. Victoria from Sit Social, a dog lounge, whether she's figured out exactly what the right business model is is yet to be determined. Whether she's figured out how to grow her customer base at an effective manner is yet to be determined. But she had the right, in my opinion, the right combination of knowing her product, having enthusiasm, having a clear message, and being organized. That's somebody that I feel like I could work with and tweak small things and slow her down. And she was a great listener. My name's Melissa Yen. I'm from Chicago, and I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I own Joe Snow Syrups, and I handcraft all-natural syrups for coffee, cocktails, and sodas. Some of my strengths, I think, are my personality. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to have fun, and I think it shows I'm passionate about my business. I think I should win the $10,000 because I've got a new product that I'm developing. I need equipment to get it bottled and out there, so it's just an exciting continuation of my business. Marcus, How are you? Simonis. Fine, nice thank you. you. Melissa Yen, Joe Snow Syrups. Okay. I handcraft all natural syrups for coffee, for cocktails, for sodas. My syrup company was profitable in its first year. Okay. So good job to that. Yes. But I've got this new product. It's called Coffee Pop. Okay. It's the kind of like your hair. <laughs> right? Pop. Yeah. So Coffee Pop is a perfect combination. Cold brew coffee, Joe Snow syrups, hops, carbonation. But is anybody actually making coffee and soda in one bottle? Not at the moment. So what gave you the no. idea? 
because it's good, because I like sparkly and coffee all together. Okay. I just want to drink it all day. Okay. <laughs> Why not just to continue to develop your syrups? Why do you have to go off on this? I, well, because ready to drink is really exploding. People want stuff on the go now. But your syrups work. Yes, they do. And you make they money. They do. I do. And so why not just continue with Joe Snow Syrup? I, I could do that as well, if that's possibly what's well, you're Well, don't ask me. I'm just giving you my opinion. <laughs> nice meeting you. We're nice meeting top. you, too. Take care. Thank you. Thanks. Pretty scary, actually. <laughs> Probably need a cocktail after this, not more coffee. I feel pretty good. Um, I'm excited about it. I think I have a pretty good chance. I felt good. Melissa from Joe Snow Syrups, uh, you can tell she loves her business. Her 60 second presentation, however, was not as sweet as her syrup. It, uh, it lacked uh, organization, it wasn't concise. I think she's got a real idea in terms of developing her syrups and putting her, her great personality and her bright personality behind that. I would even encourage her to really brand herself some more. She's somebody that you would remember. She's got bright hair, she's got a bright personality, she's got love for what she does. I think if she took that and she bottled that and sold her syrups that way, instead of bottling some concoction that I've never heard of and I don't know how many people have, her path to success would be much faster and cleaner. You know, anytime a small business wants to develop a new product, there's two or three things that I really want them to focus on. And it starts with understanding if there's really a need for the, pro for the product in the marketplace. And sometimes people fall in love with something that they believe in, but no one else likes them. For example, if you loved 8-track cassettes, you wouldn't all of a sudden start to get into the 8-track cassette business because there's not a market for it. The second thing that I really want people to do is do research on who's making or selling the product today, what they're selling it for, how they're making it, what you believe their costs are, what styled items or technology or proprietary components make up that product, and how to outsmart them. And you have to assume that the next generation of the product that you're about to make, somebody's already thought of and they have one one better. My name is Mickey Kearns and I am owner and executive chef of All Natural Chicago. I am professionally trained in uh, French cuisine. I studied here in Chicago, New York, LA, San Francisco, Italy. I've been uh, mentored by some of the best uh, cooks and chefs in this country and in other countries as well. I'm a quarter of a million deep in my business without an investor. That's how passionate and sure that this is going to work that I am. Winning $10,000 for our business at this point would definitely uh, help us to step in the right direction and uh, just basically to grow our business from a, a foundational level. Wow, Mr. Lamont. How are you? Great, how are you, sir? Good. You got nice a minute? Uh, sure, we're in an elevator. My name is Mickey Kearns. I'm CEO and uh, Executive Chef of All Natural Chicago Catering Company. And okay. it's my intention to be your caterer for you and your team for life. Have you ever had lunch about noon and then about 2, 2.30 you're ready to fall asleep under your desk? No. How long have you been in business? I've been in this business and this configuration going on four years now. So we're in the health and wellness business ultimately and we use food and good nutrition to kind of uh, facilitate that with our clients. Who would be providing the catering? You uh, would. Companies call us up okay. and we, we make a bespoke menu, make everything from scratch. So your, your business is more of a B2B business than a B2C business. So B2B is one business to another business. Yes, you're sir. the business owner, you're going to another business owner. Yes. Instead of the business owner going directly to the consumer. Yes. What are your food costs? Uh, I operate at my kitchen between 18 and 22 cents on the dollar with uh, an industry average closer to 30 cents on the dollar. Yeah, and why are you so low? Uh, because I am are all your about... your prices that high? Uh, no, sir. They're actually uh, very competitive within the catering industry, but I am really diligent about using everything. We're at the top. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, sir. Take Thank care. you for your time. I Absolutely. appreciate it. That was amazing. What a great guy. I'm so excited to have had the opportunity to meet him and very encouraging, very enthusiastic man. I like being around people like that. Are you nervous? I'm rarely nervous. I know that I am today's winner. 
I am walking out with $10,000 today, and I'm very grateful. I thought Mickey from All Natural Chicago Catering's presentation was, it was decent. I know the catering business. I own a catering business here in Chicago, and it really is a bootstraps, beat the pavement, knock on doors type of business. I didn't hear him talking a lot about that. Additionally, I question his food costs. If he says his food costs are 15 to 18 percent or 18 to 20 percent, I would challenge him on his portions and is the customer actually getting what they believe is good value for their money. $10,000 is on the line. Who did Marcus feel delivered the perfect elevator pitch? Will it be Mickey with All Natural Chicago, Victoria and Sit Social, or Melissa at Joe Snow Syrups? Folks, I want to thank you for participating in the UPS Store Elevator Pitch Competition. I thought each of you did a really nice job today. Thank you. On behalf of 4,500 franchises nationwide, UPS Store is going to be awarding $10,000 to one of you who did a great job. You'll also be receiving a small business toolkit from the UPS Store that can include everything from printing, packing, shipping, and shredding to help further fuel your business. So kudos, really, congratulations. Thank you, awesome. Thank you. that's Thank you. awesome. Uh, Mickey, I think that you know the catering business is tough, as you know. And I like the fact that you have a background in cuisine, but it wasn't clear to me exactly how you were acquiring your customers. You talked a lot about the fact that you wanted to focus on the customer relationship, when in fact your real customer is a decision maker at an office or at a business that's making decisions for a lot of people. So you have to understand how to tailor your message a little tighter. Yes, sir. I like the way you presented yourself. It was very professional, and I like the fact that you understood your food costs. While I'm going to challenge you on your number a little bit, but yes, I still sir. like the fact that you understood it. Thank you. Professional, and I wish you a lot of luck with your business Thank regardless. You so much. Victoria, you know I love pets. I'm in the pet business, and I thought that your excitement and your preparation today were excellent. Thank you. You have nice brochures. You even brought my dog a gift, which is going to help you just a little. <laughs> just a little. I want to make sure that you understand what your business model is going to look like going forward. It was a little unclear to me how you were going to actually generate revenue. Yes. Just having somebody come there and bring their dog isn't going to be enough. And so I want you to think about accessories and other add-ons that you can do to actually raise your total revenue. But I thought your preparation was fantastic and your passion for the business was even better. Thank you. Melissa, I was a little concerned with how shy you were. You, know, you were quiet, <laughs> you didn't have a big personality, no. but all kidding aside, I thought your enthusiasm for what you do was second to none. I will tell you that I'm a little concerned that you're maybe leaving something good on the table to go chase something else. You have an existing syrup business that's booming, mm -hmm. it's thriving, and the margins, they're spectacular, right? Yes, they are. As I think about how each of you move forward, I'm confident that each of you will be successful. But I have to pick one of you to be the winner. On behalf of the UPS store, and on behalf of the 4,500 franchisees, I'd like to tell you that the winner of the UPS store elevator pitch is Melissa. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. I just won ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I really didn't think I would walk out with ten thousand dollars. I mean, you think you're gonna win, but I really didn't think I was gonna. I mean, I'm a little goofy, a little crazy, and it worked. I was myself. <laughs> Victoria, uh, Mickey, and Melissa were all great in their category. But the reason I'm choosing Melissa is because I think she really believes in what she's doing in a different way. She has a successful business already. But I have a condition for Melissa. And that condition is, is that she skews her focus towards her successful business. This idea of her getting into the cola, coffee war, is a great idea in the future. But I want her to really focus herself on what her core business is today. And I want her to use this money to rebrand her company using her personality and her exuberance and develop new flavors and figure out a way to get her message out. 